Hey, Shook. Welcome back to Nisa Girl Tara. So we're here to do Sag, my Sagittarians, <laughs> reading for the second half of December. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign Saggies. Now, if this reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it. I do advise you to check your other placements. I'm sure one of them will. Now, Sag, I advise you to do that anyway because it helps to give you a more complete picture of what you can expect. All right, so I did my meditation for the fire sign energies to kind of get an idea of what the fire signs can expect in the second half of December. And this is what I got. I got. <laughs> um, so the fire signs can either expect to get or give some type of exciting communication. The communication might be around an ego death, like someone's ego ending or them putting their ego to the side um wanting some type of success um you might be reviewing the past and want a reconciliation with someone or vice versa um you might be waiting for opportunities of wish fulfillment um maybe not rejecting something or pushing things opportunities away because you're waiting for maybe something better or is this right for me that energy might cause you to miss an opportunity so you're being encouraged to take action um you might be feeling more confident here in the second half of december all right i also pulled some oracle messages and this is what i got i got building blocks okay and this card is about building on firm foundations okay um when something is not built on a built on a firm foundation it will crumble okay so you're being guided to look at where to look at the foundations that you are building, whether it's in career, finances, relationships, who are the people you're connecting with? What is the connection built off of? Um, if you're in a relationship and it's about money, then when there is no money, the relationship will fall. Okay. So just being mindful of that. You also got message in a bottle. Okay. Now in my meditation, I got exciting communication, but with this card, it even said that this is like a reminder that spirit is constantly communicating with you. So whether it's in a song that comes on the radio or a message on a bus, okay, you might have received some messages or are receiving messages. So be mindful of that. Okay. It's God communicating with you, guiding you. Okay. Because on the bottom of the deck, we have never ending story in reverse. All right. And this is about releasing dramas that are not yours. Okay. It literally said, not my circus, not my monkeys, okay? The burden is not yours, okay? So if you are encountering um, those who want to pull at your energy because they are being burdened or whatever reason, okay, it's not yours, okay? And what we can definitely see or what I definitely saw in the Aries and the Leo readings is that it's spot on. I don't want Sage. Okay. So definitely I would encourage you to go and look back at those um, readings as well. Okay. So for my Sages here in the second half of December, what can my Sages expect here in the second half of December spirit? Okay. Okay. Your overall energy, Sag. Control. Stagnation, delusion, release the need to control situations. Okay. Right behind that, karmic partner, conventional relationship, duty, bound by societal conventions. Release control. Okay. Your energy here in the second half of December, mystery, Carlio had. Magic, intrigue, suspense. You're entering unknown territory. Okay. So you might be here in the second half of December, like, you know, going maybe to something brand new. It's a little scary. Okay. But it's intriguing. A little scary, right? Okay. What happened in the recent past? Hidden path. Detour. Slow down. Explore. Go in a new direction. Okay. So something might have occurred in the recent past to make you say, you know what? This ain't for me. I need to go in a new direction. Okay. For whatever reason. It could be in any um, area of your life. 
okay? And that's good because you're definitely being encouraged to establish firm foundations. What are you thinking about? Inner child, playful, happy, enjoy the present moment, live to the fullest. You're thinking about just having fun, being happy, enjoying your life, okay? So if you were going down a path in a recent past that you feel like wasn't for you, maybe with a karmic partner, okay? It's good that you're going into something that's more of a mystery now. Why? Stuck, okay? You're what well, you want to have fun, and you are making this detour because at some point you felt stuck, blocked, third party, silence, barrier. Shift your focus to clear the energy, okay? Yeah, you're changing your focus. You're like, I'm not going anywhere here, okay? So, with that hidden path card, it makes sense of why you are going in a new direction. Immediate future, settling, scarcity, insecurity, lack of faith. Believe that you deserve the best. Don't get scared, Sag. Don't get scared, okay? Don't settle, okay? There's something that's intriguing to you, all right? You want to explore it because you feel stuck and you want to enjoy your life. Stop trying to control situations. <laughs> that's what it said. That's what it said. That's why I like looking, uh, using this deck because it used real words and ain't never I'm saying, okay? This is dictionary. <laughs> what is your advice? Travel, movement, meeting, adventure. Be ready for new experiences. Mm -hmm. Be ready. Okay. Now let's see. Let's clarify these energies for you, Sag, so we can see what's coming in for you, why you are encountering these energies in the second half of December. All right. So we have control here. Okay. And remember, the meditation talked about that ego death, okay? Con being controlling or trying to control situations is part of your ego, okay? You have to look at the reason why that you are controlling the situation. Why is control here for Sag? Overall energy for the second half of December. Why is control here? <laughs> it's almost like the same energy as Leo. Mm -hmm. yeah. We got the three of pentacles. This is about building, okay? Rebuilding, okay? And the ten of wands, okay? But the ten of swords on the bottom. Literally almost the same cards, okay? In the same position. This is you avoiding or not wanting to rebuild because of how difficult it might be, okay? Um, all of it would all of what it would require okay right but the ten of swords and the knight of swords and the two of wands okay you might um the knight of swords is quick fast moving energy okay two of wands is choosing a path you might have chosen a path in the past fairly quickly that resulted in this ten of swords being betrayed backstabbed hurt okay so you're not really in the energy of rebuilding okay because you're thinking about of how difficult it's going to be okay why is control here mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah real clear real clear okay with the nine of swords this is anxiety all right but it's a sabotaging energy all right it's paranoia okay it's like um having anxiety about something and there's really no real reason to have anxiety about it. It's like with this 10 of wands energy, all right, I feel like you might have uh, predicted how difficult something's gonna be. Like, oh, I don't wanna rebuild, I don't wanna start over, it's gonna be too hard, right? But that's a sabotaging energy, okay, with the nine of swords, all right? With the world being here, you need to stop that, okay? <laughs> like you need to end that cycle. That's, that's something you need to stop, okay? It was almost like an unhealthy habit. Okay, you might have found yourself doing that before, okay? Because with the high priestess here and the king of pentacles in a chariot, your intuition is telling you to move on, okay? Your intuition has been telling you that. The message in the bottom, according to that oracle card, okay? You've been getting the signs very clearly. 
okay? Just trying to control stuff. That's an unhealthy habit, okay? So, why is mystery here as your energy in this second half of December? Magic, intrigue, suspense. You're entering unknown territory. Why is mystery here for Sag? Mm -hmm. okay but the ten of pentacles here this is about financial stability financial abundance it can also mean like family uh structure uh you know ten of pentacles your you know the happy family a stable family okay firm foundation building blocks you might see something as having potential, okay? Something that you're intrigued by, okay? Yeah. But with the high priestess here, this is like, you know, it's kind of like a mystery energy as well. It's like the unknown, okay? It's like you're not quite sure about it, okay? So you might be intuitively guided to go into this new direction, but you're not quite sure about it. With the king of materials here, okay? King of pinnacles, all right, this is about um, the King of Pentacles is someone that is definitely financially driven. Okay, yeah. But with the King of Cups on the bottom and the Three of Wands, okay, this is like waiting to waiting to move forward or waiting to like. Okay. So you might see something as intriguing, but with that King of Pentacles energy, you're thinking with your um, with your financial or you know the financial side of your brain, okay, your your wallet, okay. You're like, mm, that's really interesting over there, but my money, the way my money set up, okay, the way my <laughs> the way my wallet set up, right. So even though with the even though it's really speaking to you emotionally, okay, and you might be intuitively guided to go and explore it, you're not, okay, you're waiting. Okay, um, because you have so much already invested. Okay, my money's already tight. Mm, I don't want to, you know, mm. I made a quick decision in the past and it didn't turn out too well, right? Okay, so that's the energy that you're given. All right, in a recent past, we get hidden path. All right, why is hidden path here for Sag in a recent past? Hidden path. Mm -hmm. page of swords okay so page of swords is information so you might have saw something because it's a spying energy maybe you were spying on someone okay you might have found out some information found out maybe a secret with the moon card okay um discover some information um yep the nine of pentacles and the seven of swords okay Mm -hmm. yeah yeah you might have discovered some information like maybe someone was uh asking you to like wait for them okay um like not not right now it's not the best time or you know i'm, I'm doing this but you might have found out that they were lying about being single okay or maybe found out that they were lying about being stable okay um, about their stability, about their money, about their opportunities, about their finances, about their, um, you know, ventures, okay? Either someone was lying about being single, okay? Or lied about their stability, okay? Uh, hidden path in a recent past, okay? The hangman and the eight of voices, Okay, with the Three of Cups, all right? Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, one day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, it was, they were lying about being single. Okay, with the Three of Cups here, this is about, okay, slow to give because of the Three of Cups. Okay, it's slow to make an offer because of the Three of Cups. So you discovered that someone was 
had a karmic partner or uh, there was a third party, okay? So with the hangman energy, okay, and the eight of swords, okay, yeah, I feel like this puts you in a, a kind of like a, a stuck energy, okay? Like this kind of had you up in your head. It's like you figured out why you were so, why things were so stagnant. You figured out why things weren't moving forward. Maybe you were starting to, you know, imagine things in your, you know, imagining, maybe you thought you were imagining things like, oh, you know, maybe I just need to give this person more time or, oh, maybe I'm just asking for too much. No. You realize why everything was being stuck. They had a third party. There was someone else involved, right? Okay. So we have inner child here is what you're thinking about. Why is inner child here is what Sag is thinking about right now. Second half of December. Inner child. It's like living life to the fullest. Okay. Playful. Happy. You want to enjoy your life. You're like, I'm just waiting around for this person only for them to have somebody else. All right. Inner child. For Sag. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So with the justice energy here, it's about the right thing to do. What's fair, right? With the Knight of Wands, you probably feel like it's it's the right thing to do for you to go out and explore your uh have have a good time and enjoy your life and explore what life has to offer. Okay? Because this person has you stuck in the recent past, waiting on them, only for them to have somebody else. Yeah. Okay, and with the nine of cups here and the muse of cups, you're focusing on yourself, your happiness, what fills you. Okay, yep, because you're done waiting for this ten of cups. You're like, forget that. I'm done sitting around waiting for you. I'm not being fulfilled. Let me go after what it is that I want. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what you should be doing with the inner child card being there. Why is inner child here? Is what Sag is thinking about. Why is the inner child here? Yeah. Four swords and a ten of swords. You're healing from that ten of swords. Okay. This is you healing from that betrayal. It was a betrayal. Yes, it was. Okay. But you're healing from it. Because you feel like it's the right thing to do for you to go and do you. And it is. Okay. So. This is all because someone had you stuck in a recent past. Why stuck here for Sage? Waiting around for them, only for them to have a third party. So jacked up. Mm -hmm. Stuck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ten of Swords, okay? That's that betrayal. Okay, you were stuck because of that betrayal, all right? With the Nine of Pentacles, okay, that's being single. Someone lying about being single with the Seven of Swords, okay? Knight of Pentacles, it held things up. You know, you feel like, you know, you held up my life. Okay, like, you know, yeah, with the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, like, I'm tired. You know, held up my life all this time. I could have been doing me, living my life. Living la vida loca, right? Yeah, you feel like you someone held you up. Yeah. Four of Pentacles, holding on to the devil, to an unhealthy person, an unhealthy attachment. You definitely felt stuck. And so you're thinking about just enjoying your life. Someone has you waiting around for them, only for them to be doing them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So in the immediate future, you get settling. It says scarcity, insecurity, lack of faith. Believe that you deserve the best. Do you believe that, Sag? Why is settling here in the immediate future? Seven of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Okay. This is a Seven of Pentacles. It's a waiting energy. Waiting. Someone sees and waiting to see what comes, you know, what manifests, what comes through. Okay. In the immediate future... With the settling card being here, 
I feel like you're looking back at some things, okay, reviewing some things, maybe looking at your uh, history of interaction with folk, all right? And you regret not having a new beginning, okay? Regret not taking action, okay? Like, okay, I'm not going to settle anymore, okay? Why settling here in the immediate future, okay? This is someone that regrets waiting around, settling. Why is selling here for Sag in the immediate future? Second half of December. Mm Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I'm looking at the Chariot, the Two of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. This is someone with the Eight of Wands. Oh yeah, it's going down, okay? You are in an energy where you're like, I'm not holding myself back no more. Okay, you're like, I'm not holding myself back no more. Okay, I wait around, wait around, wait around before I like went after what makes me happy and I regret doing that. Okay, so with this page of cups, this is a, an apology that you might be giving to someone or someone. Um, it's a loving message that you might be giving to someone. Don't have to be in a party. Just maybe a loving message you're reaching out. Okay. Um, maybe you pulled away from somebody. Maybe you stopped something. Stop investing in something. Because with the six of swords, it's about moving on the karma waters. Someone is apologizing for leaving. Okay. Yeah. Um, with the five of swords and the eight of cups, this is like being mentally conflicted about walking away. Okay. Or being manipulated. Okay. Maybe someone kept you stuck or you know hanging around okay through manipulation with that five of swords energy okay so it's almost like you could be apologizing to yourself okay for waiting around okay let me get one more because with this eight of wands and the nine of cups and the knight of swords someone is definitely making a very clear decision to go after what makes them happy with that nine of cups energy and it's happening very quickly messages are coming through okay it might be a lot of communication why is scarcity here for sag in the immediate future scarcity mm -hmm. so the five of wands all right that's interference conflict competition but the death energy and judgment, temperance, okay? The decision to put something to an end, okay? The judgment's been made. Yeah. Judgment's being made, okay? And when temperance here and the ace of wands, yeah, someone's ready for a new beginning, okay? Whatever mental conflict was there around leaving a situation or putting something to rest, that is no longer there because someone is not going to settle. Yeah. So... With travel being here as your advice, it says movement, meeting, adventure, be ready for new experiences. Why is this card here for Sag as the advice? Get ready for some new experiences, okay? Why is this card here for Sag? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you were juggling back and forth with the Two of Pentacles. All right, because of heartbreak with the three of swords. All right, by someone that you truly were in love with, ten of cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like being heartbroken in your happily ever after situation. Okay, so you were juggling back and forth with whether something would make you happy or whether you even probably even deserve happiness. Okay, in the past, looking at the past, like I don't even deserve to, you know, have that opportunity over there because I've, you know. Yeah. Maybe hurt the person that I am in love with. No, right? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it says movement, meeting, adventure, be ready for new experiences. With the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Sun. Okay. Yeah, someone juggling whether to work on having a new beginning or going after their happiness because of fear. Okay. Um, maybe because of being hurt in the past in a long term situation. Ten of Cups. Okay. Um, just someone that has, has impacted their confidence. All right. With the moon card being here, this is fear. Okay. Because of fear, fear, someone is waiting. Okay. To go into a commitment. All right. With the will of fortune, this is saying it's time for change. Okay. Yeah. It's time for change. All right. Yeah. So let me get you, Sage, some advice. No. It's not advice. It's an affirmation. I'm going to get you an affirmation here for the second half of December. And whenever you're feeling like, you know, a little discouraged or defeated, you can say this to yourself. Okay, let's see what the Spirit has for you for your affirmation for the second half of December. For Sage. What do we have for Sage? Second half of December. Okay. When I truly surrender my desires to the universe, a mighty force of faith can set in. Okay? Yeah. Release control. Okay? Release control. Truly surrender your faith to the universe. Okay? Bottom of the deck says, when I'm connected to spirit, I feel a sense of certainty, magnitude, and ease that I've never known before. Okay? When you're connected with spirit, Spirit will give you the peace, the assurance, the confirmation that you're good, okay? So stop controlling things and surrender. Release that control. So that's what I have for you, Should I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I miss you guys already. Bye. I hate this thing. <laughs> I do. I don't even know. <sighs>